So in terms of uh, clinical results, if we're talking about symptomatic improvements, I can't say I've had 100% success with a specific symptom. Let's say uh, I mentioned with neuropathy, I'm still batting a thousand, so to speak, with that. Um, arthritis in the hands and feet and knees, it's 100% uh, of the people that have ever done it have always had, had great results. When we get into more complex problems metabolically, um, like fibromyalgia, for example, the vast, the majority of fibromyalgia patients that I've ever put through a series of visits with the Novothor, they did fantastically well. But those are more complex. And there's d different underlying causes driving each each case, and especially if there's a significant autoimmune component there, uh, I would say it's 75, 80 percent successful for me so far in my own patient base. But I haven't had 100 percent success. But I should clarify, meaning I'm talking, when I say success, I mean a full resolution of the problem, a full symptomatic resolution. I've not had anybody go through and not have any result. I mean, everybody is going to benefit whether they know it or not, but even symptomatically, if it's mood elevation, if it's an antidepressant effect. These are the things that I never expected when I started using photobiomodulation, especially in the Novothor application. But it's very consistent. People with anxiety disorders and panic attacks uh, our success rate is really high uh, even when they weren't coming in for that. And so once I caught on to that, and I know there is some literature out there, but I think that's an area that's an ongoing, it's a big area of exploration. But at this point in time, I can tell you anecdotally that uh, we've had hundreds of patients go through with maybe arthritic knees or whatever, or carpal tunnel syndromes, and as a nice side benefit, they ended up having an alleviation of depression and anxiety and panic disorders. And that's been fantastic. And so we've had lots of patients not, no longer needing medications for conditions like that. So the results are, I, I think they're, they're very close to 100% as it is. I would say it's at least 90%. But I think that also if people just continue to, to treat, that I'm pretty sure that we would push that to 100%. At least some, if, if I'm talking about an outcome measurement that is, is the person glad they did it, are they satisfied with their results? Even if they didn't achieve full resolution of whatever problem they're coming with, then it's very, very close to 100%.